guys, welcome back. Um, today I thought we'd look at another um, block print that we could do, but this time we're gonna look at how to just add a little bit of color or a little bit of texture to the fabric that we're gonna block print onto. So come back in a minute, I'm just gonna set up and I'll show you how to do that. Right, so I just thought I'd show you how to get a quick background, and this is really from anything that I can lay my hands on in my studio. So what I've got here is just a piece of acrylic that I've kept because it's handy for putting paint out onto. Um, and I'm going to get some, I'm gonna use a system free this time. I'm just gonna put some paint onto the acrylic sheet and you could use a roller but sometimes do you know what I like the brush strokes so the fact that I'm putting this down onto the piece of acrylic like this is not a problem to me because I like the fact that I won't quite know what's going to happen once I've got that out like that you can take anything your finger anything that you've got in the kitchen I've got a bit of card here and I'm just going to put some simple marks in and I'm going to keep going until I'm happy with the look I've got and then I'm going to take a piece of fabric and I'm going to lay my fabric over and then this bit can be a bit messy but you could use a roller I tend to prefer to use my hands just very lightly Pop your hands down. You could put a piece of white paper over that if you wanted to push harder. It does help if you iron your bit of fabric first as well because the creases won't pick up the paint. And then just do that and then if we're lucky, when we pull that back, we will have taken a print of what I did on the piece of acrylic. It doesn't look much like that, but then if you were to overprint on top of that, or cut it up into strips and put it back together again. You can get something that looks a bit like this. This is one I'm working on at the moment. So this is lots of strips. See the strip in the background there? It's all done with this mono printing effect, the same way that we just did this. And then once I've stripped it all up and put it all back together again, I've done some block printing over the top. Now that one wasn't as successful as I thought it would be, but we're gonna have a go at another one now. So let me pop that to one side. Let me remove that one because it's wet. And all of this, I shall pop it over there. Um, so here's one that I did earlier. So here we go. This is a lighter color. And you can see those marks that I made with the piece of card. And now I'm going to um, load up a lovely block print that I've got here. And I think I'm gonna go with the blue again, because then you'll be able to see it. Now you can change the colors according to what you like. I just need to be able to show you the technique. And so there's my brush loaded and it's the dab in action again making sure that we don't get excess paint in all the grooves and that we get good coverage of that lovely, lovely leaf. You could do two colours. You could have another colour and dab in another colour on one side of your leaf to give it some shading. But just so that I can show you today, I'm just going to keep to one colour. Pop your block down onto your mono printed fabric push down, rock, and wait. Just a couple of seconds, let the paint go onto the fabric. And then hopefully when I lift this, wow! And now what I've got is I've got a lovely block printed leaf with the mono print that I did earlier behind. And it's far more interesting that way rather than just doing it onto a plain piece of fabric. I'm just gonna have a go at another one. I feel the need to do a second one. So again, dab on your paint. There you go. And I'm gonna reverse this one this time. So get your hands in position, pop it down, push, 
And as I've said in other videos, sometimes it's a good idea to stand up when you're block printing because you've got a lot more pushing power. Whereas I'm sitting down here and I'm finding it quite hard going on my arms. So ready to lift. There you go. I love the way sometimes they don't come out um, solid in places and it makes them look old and interesting. So, you know, there's nothing wrong with that print. It could be better, but it's perfectly usable like that. And I quite like these little bits of texture that you get on there. So that's just another way of using your block print with a simple mono printed background behind it. Um, have a go, it's really interesting. This would make lovely uh, border fabrics for a quilt or um, you know, just if I decided I wanted to get in there with the sewing machine and I could quilt in all of these lines and make that leaf really stand out then. Um, it's open to all sorts of interpretation. So I look forward to seeing what you do. Well, there you have it, guys. It's a very simple um, thing to do, block printing, and it's very, very effective. Um, if you're interested in where I got the blocks from, then um, check out the link below, or you can nip over to Colorishus dot com and um, they've got lovely lovely stamps over there well, they're not stamps they're wooden blocks um, they've got lovely ones there's loads of them you'll have trouble choosing there's so many if you're interested in um, the holiday that I'm running to uh, Jaipur first to the 11th of October 2019 again um, check out the link below or pop over to colorishasholidays.com and look up the trip to India on those dates and um, I hope you have fun with your block printing um, and if you fancy coming on holiday and learning more about it then I look forward to seeing you.